Okay, in this lesson from the yellow slice, we will be looking at estimating the standard deviation of grouped data or calculating the standard deviation from a histogram. And in this example here now, we have about everything that will cause us difficulty because first of all we have some negative numbers down here as our class boundaries and we're going to have to have a more complicated formula and we'll see that this problem is just filled with complications so let's go over here and take a quick look at uh, our formula to solve this problem notice here that in the standard deviation of group data uh, the formula itself is complicated enough we're going to have to once again uh, have this recipe. We're going to have a big square root. At the top of this um, fraction within the square root, we're going to have a summation. And then we're going to have to add up the most complicated thing to date. We're going to have to each time take the height of a bar, multiply that times the quantity, which includes the midpoint of each bar, and then we're going to have to subtract the average. And as you recall here in an earlier lesson, we showed you how to do that, but we have to do that problem before we can even begin this one. So we're going to have to go back, essentially retrace our steps and do the average or the mean of a histogram. And uh, so let's go back and review that before we get any farther. Now, as you may recall here that the uh, formula for the mean from a histogram is going to be a summation. Multiply the height times the midpoint of each bar, add those all up, and then divide that by the sum of the heights, which we may recall here is just n. Now, in this case, we have a fairly complicated set of midpoints as well because we have some negative numbers and they're all decimals. So let's take some time and kind of work through this. So notice here that on our first bar, the height of that bar is four, but we're going to have to get this midpoint, which is going to be negative, and it involves decimals, and so that may cause us some grief, but once again, the process to do that is exactly what I showed you on the video for calculating the mean uh, from a histogram. And so I'll run through some of those and kind of show you that. First of all, for our first midpoint, what we're going to need to do there then is to simply take those class boundaries, we add them together and divide by 2. So negative 0.8 plus negative 0.4 is going to be negative 1.2, which we divide by 2. So our first midpoint is negative 0.6. Our next midpoint, negative 0 0.4 plus 0, which would be negative 0 0.4 divided by 2, which would be negative 0 0.2. And then uh, it gets easier when you get into positive numbers. 0 plus 0 0.4 is 0 0.4 divided by 2 is 0 0.2. As we hop back and look at the rest of those midpoints, we can see here that this one's going to be 0 0.6, and this one here is going to be 1.0. So we'll have to calculate all those midpoints. We'll use those for the mean calculation but then we will turn right back around and use them all again in the standard deviation calculation. So taking some time to do this is worth it. Now keep in mind here too that this process is long and complicated. If you were to make any mistake anywhere along the line, it will come back later and bite you at the end. So you must be careful. Be careful. Every step, write this all down, work it out step by step, and you'll make it through this. But this one does cause frustration for students because the process is long and any mistakes along the way can cause trouble. So I would say take careful notes, write everything down, and here we go. Let's go ahead and get that mean calculation. And so as we do that then, we will go in here and recall that to do the mean, we have to take the height of each bar and multiply by the midpoint of that bar and continue to add those up for all of them, then divide by n, which is the sum of the heights of all the bars. So I've gone ahead and set that up for the, the height of each bar times the midpoint of each bar, keeping in mind that we will need these heights and these midpoints again as we do the standard deviation. So we'll go ahead and work this out. We'll go ahead and write a step here as we multiply each of these and then add them all up. I got the sum to be 14.4. The uh, total of the items on the list n is 48 and so our x bar is 0 0.3. So we're going to need that as we head into the uh, calculation for the standard deviation. Okay, just about like anything, just getting started seems to be the hardest part. So once we can get this going, uh, things will perk up. First of all here, we have to have the height of each bar times the midpoint 
minus the mean of each of those bars. So let's go back and set that up. Let's quickly go back here and look at where we came from. The height of our first bar is 4. Now notice too that we calculated the midpoint um, we calculated that midpoint of that first bar to be negative 0 0.6. Uh, we also calculated that average uh, to be 0 0.3. So we're going to need all that information. The height, uh, once again here, of our bar is going to be 4. We're going to multiply that times the quantity of the midpoint of that bar which we said was negative 0 0.6 from that we're going to subtract the average and we said here the average was 0 0.3 and then of course we have to square this okay notice this little squared right over here as we set this up so we're going to have the height of our bar times the quantity, the midpoint of that bar, minus the average, and then that has to be squared each time. So let's try to make that squared a little bigger right there, but we have to do that each and every time. Now we're going to add. Now we're going to take our next bar height, and our next bar height here is 4, so we're going to take 4 times the quantity of our midpoint of our next bar, which you may recall was negative 0 0.2, minus that midpoint, or that average, which was 0 0.3, and then we're going to square it. Then we're going to add. Then we're going to take the height of our next bar. And our next bar here is 20. So we're going to take that uh, 20. We are going to multiply that times that next midpoint, which is a positive 0 0.2 minus the average, which is 0 0.3, which we're going to square and then we're going to keep going. You can see here that I'm running out of space. Uh, we're going to divide that then by the total. Remember the sum of the heights here is just the same thing as n, but we have to subtract 1 from that, so that's going to be 48 minus 1 here in the next step. So let me go in here and uh, get some of that done. You can work along with me on this. I encourage you to, and then you can uh, check your steps here in just a second. Let's go ahead and catch up. Okay, now some of the numbers here we have to work with in this problem are pretty tedious, and so now is the time to get our calculator out and save as much frustration as possible. So on our first part, we need to multiply 4 times the quantity, negative 0 0.6 minus uh, 0 0.3, and then that quantity squared. So I'll simply go ahead and put that into my TI-30XS. I will work out these numbers step by step, and let's write them down. So that first number is going to be 3.24, and and as we move across here, let's do the same thing. We'll do one more for you here. Uh, we're going to have 4 times the quantity. We'll have negative. Notice once again here for that negative, we have to use this button to enter that uh, 0 0.2. Then uh, to subtract, we can simply use the uh, subtraction button right there. Minus 0 0.3, close parentheses, and then square. And so right away that number turns out to be plus 1. And I'll go ahead and uh, crank through the rest of these. I encourage you to do the same thing. Now again here I've made some progress. Uh, what I've done here is to crank through all five of those uh, with my calculator like I showed you. I've got those all set up in steps. And once again, you want to keep your steps because if you should make a mistake, we may have to go back and find those uh, find those mistakes. So once again, I tell people here the story of Hansel and Gretel that uh, what you may well have to do here is to leave this trail of stones as you go along here so that in the event that you do get lost, that I can come back along here later and uh, help find you. If you uh, basically throw away your work or if you don't keep good steps, this is very much like leaving the trail of breadcrumbs. The birds come along and eat those, and the next thing you know, you don't have any way to get back. So what we simply need to do now is to go ahead and get all of these numbers add up. And here at this stage, 
I get uh, 7.84 for that on the top. Remember that we're dividing by this uh, 47. And once again, now we might as well go back to our Alex calculator to finish and let it do the uh, let it do the work. We could do this on our regular calculator as well. Uh, we want to take the square root of 7.84 and divide that by 47. So once again, this is the moment of truth. We finally reached the end of this long problem. We get an answer of 0 0.408. Now we got to be careful. Let's don't mess it up by rounding wrong at the very end. They say here, round your answer to at least two decimal places. So if we round to two decimal places, notice that we have um, 0.408 in the second decimal place we have a zero but the third decimal is an eight that's going to round it up and so what we will report here is our answer 0 0.41 and let's hope we're right Alex is happy so on this problem be careful this is the source of much frustration